The conditions at Surrey Sports Park were horrendous. But Gerard Marlins Harlequins can enjoy drying off from the comfort of the top of the table, where they remain sitting pretty after a third consecutive bonus point win in the Allianz Premier 15s. A period of sustained early pressure by the hosts came good with just five minutes on the clock, courtesy of Red Rose's back rower, Sarah Beckett. Moments later, Shauna Brown marked her 50th appearance for the club with a score. Quinns playing to the conditions and opting to keep things simple. Their forwards dominating collisions and magicking up turnovers almost as relentless as the rain. 20 minutes on the clock and Quinns were really moving through the gears. One of their trademark formidable scrums set up Vicky Cornborough for a cross of the whitewash. As captain Rachel Burford, instrumental in this passage of play, showed that she's just as much firepower as her forwards and plenty of flair too, teeing up her 2017 World Cup teammate for the host's third of the day. On an afternoon where she slotted four of her five conversions, Ellie Green added the extras, 21-0, a scoreline which would remain until half-time. The weather started to ease up, but Quinns certainly had no plans to, and some fine handling off the back of a line-out saw Heather Cowell free up Lani Tuima. 36 minutes played, and the bonus point in the bag. After one of a series of fine Harlequins turnovers, Sarah Beckett showing just why she has become so indispensable to both club and country, carved through the Chiefs' defence before turning from scorer to supplier with a deft offload for Lucy Packer. The scrum half slid in beneath the posts and Green converted again. They weren't to have it all their own way though, and Exeter proved that they possess some serious horsepower of their own. Olivia de Merchant with the decisive drive after a barrage of pick and goes, and Lauren Cattle, who arrived at Exeter from Saracens for the Chiefs' debut season, promptly converting. The Chiefs were playing with far greater urgency now, and it felt a matter of when, not if, they converted possession into points. With just minutes left on the clock, and after already being held up once over the line, their efforts were rewarded, and Susie Appleby's side bludgeoned their way to a second score from replacement and debutant Kaylee Armstrong. The final score, top of the table Harlequins 33, 8th placed Exeter, still in search of their first win in this league, 14.